Alright, back with another quick video. Quick little update. I've changed the stock 18 inch wheels that were 225 thickness uh, to a 245. Uh, 245, what is that? 245, 50, 20 inch. So now I got the 20 inch rims on there. It's got the wider tires. So we're going to take a road trip. Probably going about 90 miles today. Uh, it's hot, it's humid. We'll have the AC running. Let's see what effect this has on our mileage. Alright, so we'll go ahead and select trip two. We'll do a reset. Alright, we've got a 100% charge currently showing a range of 232 uh, again I've got the standard range battery so over exceeding what the EPA rating is let's see what we get now that we got these new tires on there all right so it's showing 87 miles about two hours and four minutes and I should get there with about 59 percent based on its original estimate that was with the uh, previous tires Alright, just got through kind of the stop and go city traffic, if you would. Uh, now up on the highway, so I've gone about 8 miles. Um, still averaging about 3.5 kilowatt per hour, um, or 3.5 miles kilowatt per hour. Uh, you can see the breakdown here. Currently using the adaptive cruise control on the highway set to about 67 uh, right now just going with the flow of traffic uh, you can see those first eight miles uh, we just fell down to the 97 percent mark so let's see uh let's see how this goes as we continue on the majority of this is going to be highway all right a little bit of stop and go traffic uh, one thing I did notice on trip two, it doesn't look like the miles per kilowatt is actually updating. So I'm going to use the this trip. Um, that one looks like it actually reset this time. Uh, right now we're holding at about three miles per kilowatt hour. Um, based on, on this screen's calculation, we've gone about 48 miles at this point. Um, as you can see, we still got 51 miles to go until we reach the destination. Uh, and we've used up about 16% of the battery at this point. Alright, driving through Worcester here. Uh, just another quick check-in. We're on this map, uh, this route, this trip, whatever this tab is called. Um, averaging about 2.7 kilowatt uh, per mile, or mile per kilowatt, dyslexia. Um, you can see what it's given me for ratings, acceleration, deceleration. Most of this ride has been with the cruise control on, uh, air conditioning running, hit a lot of traffic uh, on 495 and 290 uh, due to some road work. So it's been a lot of stop and go. Um, we've got approximately 19 miles remaining in what was uh, 87 um, total miles or so, if I remember correctly. Um, you can see right now we're at 67%. Um, we've gone 78 miles. So, here we go. I'll continue to check in, let you guys know how it's going. Alright, uh, I need some coffee. And you know what we do up here in New England when we need coffee. Please drive to highlighted route. I will once I get my coffee. Alright, coming up on the final stretches here. Um, let's get over to the this. So as you can see, we're at 91 point uh, let's call it 92 miles, averaging 2.8 miles per kilowatt, which has dropped down to 60. Uh, it had guesstimated that we would be at 59% when we arrived, so pretty close, even with that little detour for coffee. It's 
not bad. Doesn't look like the tires really uh, did too much of an impact on on uh, distance and efficiency. That's good to see.